Okay, for this tutorial, um, it was re it was a request from Gar Lover Vampire. There we go. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so bad. Pretty names. Okay, how to add like really big gauges? And um, I personally don't like adding huge ones because it looks kind of fake. I mean, because the ear is only supposed to be so big, and you know. I mean, even when, you know, someone has this, like, huge ear, like, I've seen people with, um, like, two-inch tunnels, you know, two inches across tunnels, which are kind of, kind of creepy, it still looks like, oh my god, how did you do that? I haven't, I mean, it doesn't look like it should be, um, physically possible. But anyways, you're gonna want to make a new layer and ignore me going on and on and on, and... Sample the color, um, like the base color of the ear. Like this one has two colors, um, just a base, you know, kind of a highlight. Uh, it has a shadow color, and then it has just the edge. I'm gonna do point sample, and then you're just gonna want to make the shape of the ear. So I'm just gonna use um, the ear lobe, actually, the eclipse tool. And I'm just gonna kinda yeah, I'm gonna make this a really big ear. Hold down the shift key to make a perfect circle. Or you can just like not and get a different shape. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna go for a really big circle and I'm just gonna fill the path. Okay. For some reason sampling the color didn't work because I had it on current layer. Here we go, all layers. There we go. I'm so spacey today. Sorry. Oh, uh, okay. There we go. Delete path. And it should be like the same color. It should kind of blend in. And just lower the opacity a bit so you can find out where to put it. Um, you know, I usually, um, if you have someone this big, I'll probably overlap your jaw a little bit when you take a picture from this angle. Let me zoom out. This is the picture I'm using. Um, okay, so I'm just going to put it about there. And you can see there, and now I'm just going to sample the line art color, which is not actually black for this one. It's just like a, kind of a muddy brown. And I'm just going to Double click the layer, you can use stroke, and I'm just gonna use that color for the stroke. I'm gonna put it down to one pixel. I'm just gonna lower the opacity a little bit because the lines aren't strong all around this picture. Okay. Now I'm going to make a new layer and slide it under the layer with the ear lobe and just merge it down so I can edit this without uh, messing with the stroke. Lower the opacity again and I'm just gonna erase using a hard brush you know the part that would connect to the ear and then put it up again so it kind of blends in a little bit more I don't know, like I said, it's really, really hard to make this, like, natural by any means. But, um, this is my best shot. I'm going to go back to current layer and select the shadow. And I'm going to note how the shadow kind of goes on this. It just kind of covers the bottom edge. And I'm going to try to duplicate that shadow on this one. Actually, I'm just going to... Do sample that color and oh my god, why do I have that? I'm just kind of color it over and kind of try to redo the shadow on this ear. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the pen tool, just make a nice curve. Um, I'll get to like adding the actual gauge in a second. Or if you, you can also do a tunnel this way. You can also call them plugs, depending on who you ask. 
I'm just gonna do the shadows on a new layer just so I can fiddle with them a little easier. Um, lower the opacity a bit. And since this picture is kind of soft, I'm just going to use a blur tool and just blur that a little bit. And since it's kind of a bulbousy look, I don't know, that just looks decent. To me, it doesn't look great, but it looks decent. I don't think there's really a way to make this look great, you know? Um, I'm just going to get rid of this little line here that kind of attaches that. I'm just going to use a really soft, small brush. I'm going to lower the flow and a little bit of a shadow there. Just a bit of a shadow on the edge. Just kind of accentuate it there. Um, so that's how I would mi um, extend the lobe. It's not perfect, but I don't think it's bad. <laughs> um, image adjustment to saturation. I'm going to lower the lightness, uh, not the lightness, image adjustment levels, and just kind of try to darken skin tone just a bit. Yeah, just a little bit. So it's not that much of a difference, but just enough that I can then add a white highlight to it without making it look too weird. And I'm just gonna kind of just build up the highlight a bit. Blur it. And that's how I'm going to make the lobe. And then for a gauge to actually put on there, I'm actually just going to Google gauge. No, 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 I'm going to earplug. The image. Edit, paste. I'm cut. Just get rid of that layer altogether. I'm going to keep everything as separate layers right now in case I want to edit them later. And edit paste, it already puts it on a new layer. Um, you can use a magic wand tool to get rid of. Yeah, I'm not doing the best job, but this is actually my first time doing this. I'm just using previous knowledge. Edit, free transform. Hold the shift key so it keeps its shape, and I'm just going to make it smaller. Use saturation up the lightness a bit. Yeah, that'll do. Um, you can actually get to knock the saturation all the way down. I'm gonna go to image adjustments, use saturation, and click the colorize thing. And just mess with the color a little bit so it blends in with the picture. There, that's better. Um, that actually isn't nearly as bad as I thought it would turn out to be. I'm going to double click it, and outer glow, no, no, not inner glow, outer glow, black, on overlay, so the size a bit, because usually plugs, you know, of that size aren't going to lay really flat with the ear. They're going to stick out just a little bit. And I'm actually pretty satisfied with that. That's the original, and that's with the plug, so I hope that helped. Um, taking another look at it, I would actually add a little bit of a shadow behind the ear with the burn tool. Yeah, mid-tones. Fluffy brush. Just kind of... Just a little bit. So I just cast a little bit of a shadow to make it blend in more. 